NTF Nerdy Dude Stuff. Dude Stuff. What's going on, nerdy dudes and dudettes? I'm NDSO Prius. Today I am playing some Hearthstone. Now I know a lot of our streams are Overwatch, Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone will be added to them, and they're Blizzard games, but I love Blizzard. They're a fun company that I think do great jobs with their IPs. So with that said, welcome to my deck tech for my budget face roll hunter in standard. Um, we'll take a look at the deck, we'll play a couple of games, we'll go from there. Now, I did get this deck list online, it's kind of the mid-range hunter list. Um, it is very budget on the dust. I spent maybe about 1200 I did have some dust available, and I did have some of the cards available. So this is my first deck tech, and we'll go from there. I really like the deck because a lot of its synergies are beast. Uh, you go through the list here, everything is pretty much labeled as a beast. The only thing that's not a beast here is our Houndmaster, with the exception of some of our control cards, like the Eagle Horn Bow, Deadly Shot, uh, Animal Companion, and then I think it's Kill Command. But you see the synergy with Kill Command, and it gives you the beast deal 5 damage instead. So... Breaking it down, starting up at the lower tier, what we like to really try to focus on, uh, having the opening hand all the time, is Alley Cat. It's a great card, cost one, summon a 1-1 one, one cat. Both of them are beasts. The synergy works very well with our Scavenging Hyena. Uh, my ideal opening hand, if I'm playing turn one, is to pop out the Alley Cat. Turn two, pop out the Scavenging Hyena, because what it says is whenever a friendly beast dies, gain plus two, plus one. Now that's perfect, because technically then on turn two, if they put out a creature, or if you're playing Priest and they do the 1-3 that whenever a minion's heal draw a card, you can slam both your alley cats into it, and now you just got plus four, plus two on a Scavenging Hyena on turn two, ready to do six damage on turn three. Um, another great synergy is our Jeweled Macaw, add a random beast to your hand. And then Crackling Razor Maw, you get to adapt a friendly beast. So you have some great synergies on your turn one, especially playing off of Alley Cat and Scavenging Hyena. Uh, a couple of other turn one, turn two things to point out for a little bit of our control when we're pay playing Paladin, uh, Murloc Paladin, or we're playing uh, Pirate Warrior. Uh, destroy a pirate and gain plus one, plus one for two, and destroy a Murloc, gain plus two, plus two for one. Uh, even if you're not playing them, these are great vanilla cards. You know, on turn two, a two, a two three vanilla body was awesome. A one, two vanilla body is also pretty solid. And again, focusing on that beast synergy. Uh, moving down, now the really another non beast that we have is Knife Juggler. I don't have the um, grandmother. Uh, that summons a 3-2 on Death Rattle 1-1 one, one Beast. So in that slot, I've replaced it with Knife Juggler temporarily, which is fun because there have been games where I've been able to plop out a Knife Juggler. I've been able to play a um, Rat Pack. I've been able to adapt a Rat Pack, give it plus 3 attack. Now I've got a 3-2 Rat Pack sitting there, and I'm going to get 5 rats when it dies, so if I slam that into something with a Knife Juggler out, that's 5 random damage, which is also phenomenal. Uh, moving down a little bit down the list, we have our Summon a Random Companion. I have uh, 2 on the slot. Uh, this card has come through clutch for me a few times when I get Misha. Um, other than that, it's just a solid 3 drop if you don't have a lot, and it's going to give you another Beast. Uh, Deadly Shot has helped me in the clutch a few times. It's really great at dealing with some early annoyances, especially if you are going face and you're doing aggro. Um, this has come through on the clutch. Or if you've cleared their board and they drop their big drops on you, you have a chance of destroying one, especially if there's only one, then you're obviously going to destroy it. Now, this one's an interesting card because Eagle Horn Bow, whenever a friendly secret is revealed, gain plus one durability. Now, if you're looking through the deck list here, there is no secret cards in this deck. Uh, this is a great card because it allows you to really control the board and remove minions, especially pesky little minions. Um, and that's the main purpose of this being in the deck. It's a great weapon. It's three damage. You're going to the face with most of your minions anyway, so you're not really upset if you're losing that damage on your character. Uh, so that's why this is in. The, it's, this is more of removal. I'm not gaining synergy by not playing secrets. Kill command is pretty solid. You get towards that late game and you manage to, you know, your your opponents at four life. You top deck an alley cat and you have, you know, seven 
mana. You can pop them with your hero ability. You play your alley cat. You get your beast. Now you're up to five damage. You're just wiping the board. Uh, a little bit later on into the game, you know, you got your rat pack, as I mentioned earlier. Great when it's adapted. Otherwise, it's just great to avoid, like, board sweeps and uh, whirlwind effects because then you're still getting the death rattle bodies out there, um, which also ties into Savannah High Main. That's a beast of a card. It's a beast, obviously. You're getting two hyenas upon death, so the six power for six, and if it dies when you plop it, you still have four power sticking to the board. So that's phenomenal. And that allows you to give a couple more options for your hound master, because uh, you're playing beasts left and right. Um, last two cards to really top off the deck are beast with charge mechanics. Uh, I do, I have played some solid games where Unleash the Hounds is a one of, and it's won me in the clutch, especially being able to either um, throw it out, throw it off with a knife juggler, and have a bunch of one ones with charge. Also, with the Scavenging Hyena, I've made this beastly with one Unleash the Hounds, and it's been really good in the clutch. And then finally, you have your uh, Tundra Rhino, uh, two of, two five, with charge, and it's a beast. There's been some great combos I've been able to pull off while having a Tundra Rhino out. I've been able to do things where I've plopped out a Savannah High Main. Um, I've thrown the high main at either the hero or for removal i get the two hyenas they have charge as well you just throw a lot of damage especially when your tundra high your tundra rhino sticks um so that's just my budget list that's my budget build again i spent maybe about 1200 dust on it i had a small handful of the cards um it was really nice having a one of, of the hungry crab and the crackling uh, I'm sorry, the Galaka Crawler, so I only had to make one of each, and that was where most of my dust got dumped into, but we're going to play a couple of games, we're going to probably do about five in ranked ladder, uh, I got to 14 in a day, um, and we'll see how it goes, so stay tuned to the rest of the games with Face Budget Hunter, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please be sure to leave a comment, like, or subscribe. It's a great way to support Nerdy Dude stuff, and we highly appreciate it. If you want to watch another video, just click on one of the ones above, and uh, we'll see you next time.